Margaret was born in Florence, Italy, in 1287. She was a great disappointment to her wealthy parents. She was born blind with a severe curvature of the spine and had difficulties in walking. She was also presumed to exhibit dwarfism. Thus, her parents were ashamed of her and told people that she had died at birth. They kept her hidden away. Only her parish priest was allowed to visit her. He taught her about God's love and the Catholic faith. He brought her Holy Communion. Receiving Jesus' body and blood, took away her loneliness because she knew Jesus was always with her. When she was a teenager, her parents took her to a Franciscan shrine in Castello. They prayed that Margaret would be healed during their pilgrimage. When she was not, they abandoned her, leaving her alone in the strange city. The people of Castello reached out to Margaret. Homeless people taught her to beg. Even though she slept in doorways or empty buildings, she never complained. In time she met men and women who were lay members of the Dominican order. They prayed together and performed good works for people in need. They invited Margaret to join them in their ministry. In spite of her physical difficulties, Margaret visited prisoners, helped the sick, and comforted people who were suffering. Soon everyone in the city of Castella knew about Margaret and admired her. It is said that after her death, the entire city attended her funeral and that a crippled young girl was healed during the Mass. She died at the age of 33. Margaret was declared blessed by the Church in 1609. And last April 24, 2021, the Holy Father Francis inscribed her in the Book of Saints, that is, through equipolent canonization. Many people who suffer from eye or muscular diseases pray to her. She is the patron of persons with disabilities, the unwanted, and by pro-life movements. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer for Enlightenment O oh God! by whose will St. Margaret of Castello was blind from birth, that the eyes of her mind being inwardly enlightened she might think without ceasing on you alone, be the light of our eyes, that we may be able to flee the shadows of this world and reach the home of never-ending light. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and do not allow us to fall into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer for Discernment Compassionate God, you gave your divine light to Saint Margaret of Castello who was blind from birth, that with the eye of her heart she might contemplate you alone. Be the light of our eyes that we may turn from what is evil and reach the home of never-ending light. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer in Time of Trouble Almighty and Eternal God, the comfort of the afflicted, the strength of the burdened, and the hope of the unwanted, 
May the prayers of those who call on you in any trouble be heard by you, so that all may rejoice to be helped by your mercy in their need. Pray for us, Saint Margaret of Castello, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God who wished Saint Margaret to be blind from birth so that the eyes of her soul, enlightened by your grace, might more clearly see the value of spiritual realities, graciously grant that we may perceive the hidden dangers in the world of darkness and safely reach our home of eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.